to my YouTube channel. My name is Crystal and uh, first and foremost, I just want to say uh, I'm sorry for my appearance today. I know I look like a potato. You guys don't have to come for me, okay? Listen, we are in the thick of the quarantine right now, okay? It is the middle of April. I'm not going to work for a whole nother six weeks and I see all these people on TikTok chopping off their hair and dying at crazy colors and that's not me. I want to grow my hair. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to do that and we're going to use 100% pure castor oil. So I got this off Amazon for $13 and I know that they have cheaper ones um, and they also have smaller bottles than this. I am going to use this for a lot of different reasons, but in today's video, I'm just going to be doing it for hair growth. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to check in with you guys once a week, um, the day before I wash my hair, show you guys how I apply it. And then the next day I will show a clip on what it looks like after my hair is dry and after I've washed it all off. So I do only wash my hair once a week because I dye my hair a lot. I dye my hair every like three weeks, I would say three and a half weeks. And you can probably see why because my roots are growing in right now. But I have super blonde roots and if I don't keep up with them, it looks like I'm balding. Okay, yeah, that's really cute. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. And yeah, I'll just put all the clips together and we'll come back at, let's see what is today. Today's April 16th. So on May 16th, we will come back, share final thoughts and show the results. I'm also gonna try to take pictures so I can compare, comp compare the before and after pictures. Um, but for now, let's just go ahead and look at uh, what we're working with. This is day six hair. It's super greasy, hella dry on the bottom. Oh, and I should also probably mention that I'm gonna be putting coconut oil on the bottom of my hair and then only this in my roots. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I've been using coconut oil in my hair forever, but I thought we'd try out something new. So this is what my hair looks like. This side is longer than this side, and I don't know why. Uh, maybe I should fix that. I don't know. But this is my hair right now, and I'll show you guys what it looks like from the back. Once again, my hair is greasy. I know. We're in quarantine. I don't give a shit. So here's my hair from the back. It goes all the way down to here. And yeah. So that's my hair at the current moment, and I'll see you guys in a second when I decide to put this on my scalp. Boom. All right guys, so I'm just gonna probably speed through um, this part, but I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna apply the castor oil. So I'm just gonna split my hair in half, and uh, this shit looks pretty big, so. We're just going to put it on the roots and then, like I said, coconut oil on the rest of my hair. I'm just going to put like, I don't know, a quarter size amount. Whoa, this is super thick. Okay. And I'm just going to put it, oh God, it's so thick. It feels disgusting. Oh, I don't love this. All right, but yeah. This is me. I'm going to put on this all throughout my roots and I'll show you guys when I'm done. guys so I just got done putting in the oil to my hair um it is super thick like it's kind of gross how thick it is but whatever we'll work with it so um in the next clip I'm going to show you what my hair looks like tomorrow after I get out of the shower I'm obviously not expecting any hair growth <laughs> by tomorrow 
but I just want to see if it changes the texture of my hair, um, if it made my hair greasy or if it made it soft. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Good night. So this morning I woke up, took a shower and rinsed all of the castor oil out of my hair. I did shampoo my hair twice. Um, it's definitely super thick and uh, really hard to get out of your hair. So I would recommend shampooing twice, but I usually do that anyways. It doesn't feel any different. Um, the only thing that I have noticed is that like the top portion is a little bit more shiny, which is nice, but it doesn't make my hair feel greasy or weighed down or anything. So I just let it air dry. I haven't put any product in it today. So we'll come back next week and uh, do the second treatment and see how I feel. Hi guys, it is week two of the castor oil experiment. Um, Please excuse my appearance. I have been a depressed mess this last week. I haven't put on makeup in like five days and I'm breaking out, so that's cute. Um, so anyways, uh, the only thing that I can really say is that my roots are definitely coming through and I will be touching them up um, probably in the next day or two. So I just wanted to like really reiterate that I am doing this for dyed and damaged hair to see if it actually like helps with the thickness of like the hair loss that I experience when I dye my hair every three weeks. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be putting the castor oil on my roots again, coconut oil on the rest of my hair, and I will show you guys uh, myself putting it on and then I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow after I wash it out and see if it feels any different, so. Let's get into that. shower is done I let my hair air dry for about an hour have not put any products in it have not brushed it um, I just feel like it's more like voluminous at the top maybe that's just me but I did a pretty bad job of washing out all the oil today I can still feel it right here you could probably see it. it's a little um, a bit greasy but I don't care I mean we're in quarantine I'm not going anywhere so uh, but yeah, I'll be dyeing my hair in the next uh, two to three days, and then I'll catch you guys next week for the third castor oil treatment. Hey guys, welcome back to week three of our castor oil experiment. You guys know the drill, the good stuff on the roots, coconut oil on the rest of the hair. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did end up dyeing my roots on Monday. Today is Saturday, May 2nd, so it's been about six days since I washed my hair, as you can probably tell, it's looking a little cray right now, but I did just want to pop on here and mention that I have noticed a difference in like hair loss over the last week. Um, I have not lost that much hair throughout the day um, compared to what I used to lose, just like random strands of hair. So I don't know if that's the castor oil doing it, but I'm going to go ahead and say that it is because it used to be like a thousand strands a day. Like I'm not exaggerating because I just dye my hair so much and it falls out all the time. But that is the only thing that I've noticed so far. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the application process and stay tuned for tomorrow when I get out of the shower and see how we feel. Hopefully I will rinse it out a little bit better than last week. I need to do that for sure. But yes, let's go ahead and get into that clip.
Hey guys, so it's week three. Washed the castor oil out of my hair a couple hours ago. I have not used any heat or any products on it. This is just how my hair naturally dries. So you can definitely tell it's super shiny and I did a really good job of washing it all out today. So yeah, just super shiny and voluminous and thick at the top. Um, for week four, I'm probably not gonna talk about it. I'm just going to show you guys applying it and then I'll check back in after I get out of the shower. But yeah, I'm loving the results so far. And uh, that's all I gotta say for now. So let's go ahead and jump into week four. Hello friends, we are finally at the end of our four week castor oil experiment. So this is going to be my final update on this and I just have to say that I really do think that it has changed my hair and not just in length but in thickness and fullness at the top of my head. I have seen a significant decrease in hair loss just like shedding throughout the day which is great. Um, and I put the before and after pictures in the thumbnail, but I will go ahead and show you guys a closer look right here. And as you can see, it has definitely grown a significant amount. I would probably say like half an inch, um, just in four weeks. So that's really great. And I'm gonna to continue to use this product for the foreseeable future. Now, I will say that it is an extremely thick oil and I slept on a towel um, over my pillowcase every night that I put the casserole in just because I didn't know if it was gonna stain or leave any sort of like residue on my pillowcase. So that is what I did and I don't think that this would be a good oil to use like more than once a week just because of the thickness of it and it will stay in your hair if you do not rinse it out completely. So just be mindful of that if you are going to start doing this. Um, but yeah, I've seen such a great difference in my hair and I can really tell that it's growing just from my roots coming in. I have dyed my hair twice. In the past like four and a half weeks which is crazy because usually i dye my hair every three and a half weeks so the hair growth is definitely there and i'm really excited to see how long my hair grows after a couple months of using this so if you guys want me to do an updated castor oil um video after using it for two three or four months i can definitely do that as well but if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I will link the specific castor oil that I bought on Amazon in the comments below if you wanted to get that one. There's so many of them out there, um, but just you know, do your research, look at the reviews, and pick which one that you like the best. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed following me along this journey of using castor oil in my hair. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and make sure to follow me on Instagram. I will also have it linked in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!